What's going on everybody? Steve V here with another video. I hope everybody's doing well out there. So in today's video, we're going to talk those leaks. I put out a community post the other day where I asked my subscribers, do you guys want to see me make a video about the leaks or do you guys want to see me make a video about the Pac-Man XL and the new Miss Pac-Man Deluxe? Because Arcade One Up did a one-up show where they announced those cabinets officially. So that's what my plan was. I was going to do a video about that. But uh, Wild Bill and the bad guy Mike Worley made videos talking about these leaks. And uh, I've seen a few other videos kind of pop up out there about these leaks. And, you know, it's starting to catch a little bit of fire. So I thought, you know what, let me ask if people want me to make a video about this as well. And it seems like they do. So that's what today's video is going to be about. It's going to be about those Arcade 1UP 2024 leaks. And I'm going to let you guys know what I think the potential is of these certain titles coming out. Because obviously, you know, this might be Arcade 1UP's plan on paper. But a lot can change within, you know, the months kind of leading up to when, you know, they might potentially want to come out with these cabinets. Uh, because obviously, you know, there's licensing involved and, and you know, there's the... Um, the situation of just trying to get these retailers interested in some of these titles. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of go over each title and, you know, kind of give my take as far as what I think the potential is of that actual title coming out from Arcade 1UP in 2024. So we're going to get started. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Here we go. So welcome back to the channel. Let's get started and talk about these leaks. Now the first cabinet we're going to talk about is Track and Field. Now this is a cabinet that has actually been kind of talked about for a while. There was even a Track and Field stool that kind of popped up on Walmart uh, as like kind of like a placeholder. Uh, but obviously that stool never officially came out. And you know the Track and Field cabinet though it was kind of rumored and we actually seen like some pictures of what it could potentially look like. It seemed like Arcade 1UP was just kind of shopping around to see if anyone was interested in picking it up. Uh, and it didn't seem like any of the retailers were kind of interested at that time. So the fact that this title has kind of popped up again, um, I don't know if it's because, you know, now Arcade 1UP has maybe found a retailer that's willing to carry it. Maybe they want to carry it direct. Uh, I'm not really sure. But the fact that, you know, we've seen this title kind of pop back up, uh, I do think there is potential of this actually coming out next year. And I think it's a cabinet that a lot of people will enjoy. It's definitely a button masher. So they would definitely have to have, you know, some good quality buttons. And uh, maybe we might actually see this potential cabinet come out next year. So the next title that we're going to talk about is Street Fighter Alpha 3. Now I think the potential is very high of this one happening as well. Because it's Street Fighter, it's Capcom. Our kid one up has a relationship with Capcom. The only thing that might make this one a little bit rocky is the fact that John D is not uh, working for Arcade One Up anymore, and he's kind of the connection between you know Arcade One Up and Capcom. But there is already a relationship there, so I think Cyrus, who's their main licensing guy right now, I think he can keep that connection alive, and I think he can bring this title and cabinet to us in 2024. Um, obviously, you know, we've gotten a lot of Street Fighter over the years, but people have been clamoring for something other than Street Fighter 2. Um, though there are multiple versions of Street Fighter 2, people still want something fresh. And I think Street Fighter Alpha 3 is going to fit the bill as far as still giving us Street Fighter, but something new. Not to mention it's got one of the best theme songs and some of the best music within a Street Fighter game, in my opinion. So I definitely want to see that cabinet happen in 2024. So the next cabinet that could potentially be coming out in 2024 from Arcade 1UP is Alien vs Predator, and it's going to be in a big blue cabinet. Now I think the chances of this one are very slim, and it's for obvious reasons. The licensing situation. Though I do think, you know, there are people clamoring for this title, obviously 19K Fox, 
is a big fan of this title, and I think he's like the biggest supporter as far as hoping that Arcade 1-Up will make this cabinet happen. I do think it's going to be a very big uphill battle for them to do, but anything's possible. I mean, I was shocked when they were able to get Terminator 2. There's been some other licenses that they've been able to get that I was pretty shocked with, you know, Simpsons and uh, X-Men and, and things like that. So anything is possible. But I do think this is one that on paper they may be planning to do. But as far as actually making it happen and, and really bringing it to us, I think the chances are pretty slim. So the next title that they might be doing in 2024 is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Calabunga Collection Cabinet. So obviously, just with the name of this cabinet, you're going to assume that it's going to have the games from the Calabunga Collection that came out on the consoles. So this is very exciting. Now, me personally, I am not a fan of console games on an arcade cabinet. That's just something that I'd rather stay away from and usually I'm not a fan of purchasing. But in this situation, sometimes there's always like one cabinet where you're willing to kind of make a little bit of a, an exception for, I guess. And I feel like the Turtles cabinet would be something I would make an exception for if it comes out with the original artwork, you know, in a deluxe form factor and it does have some of those console games mixed in with the two arcade games. Um, again, this is not something that I'm hoping Arcade 1UP does often and, and really makes it a regular thing. Though, you know, we're seeing them do it with the uh, Atari 50th right now. Uh, but, just because there's only two games for them to work with and the fact that they've already done the Turtles Cap twice uh, in a three-quarter scale, I think if you're going to do it a third time, you got to add something to, to bring a little more value. And this might be the only way they can add that extra value. So I do think this one will actually happen. They got the license. So I think it's just a matter of, you know, making that cabinet and putting those games on there. And next thing you know, we got the Turtles back in the mix in 2024. So next on the list is Smash TV. Now this is a cabinet that a lot of people have been talking about, you know, Arcade 1UP doing. And it seems like, you know, the potential of this happening is very high. Uh, if they do make this cabinet, it's probably going to have Robotron on it, and it's probably going to have Total Carnage. Uh, all three of the games that would be on this cabinet are definitely winners. I mean, they're titles that a lot of people want, and I feel like if they do make this cabinet, uh, I do feel like it's going to sell quite well. Now, probably the biggest hurdle that they're going to have to do is, is try to get this into the retailers. But, at the same time, I do feel like, you know, Smash TV specifically, I feel like it's a, a title where I think enough people would know it. I know it's not like, you know, a Pac-Man or a Mortal Kombat or a Street Fighter where, like, everybody knows it. But I do feel there's enough love there for that title uh, you got Robotron on there, and then Total Carnage is a nice, you know, garnish to kind of bring it all together. So, I do think the potential of this cabinet happening is very high. It's been rumored for a while, so I think in 2024, we will see Smash TV. So, as far as the next gun game that we could expect, it looks like it's going to be Lethal Enforcers. Now, this game is great. It's basically, in my opinion, and... To be honest with you, I haven't played Lethal Enforcers a lot. I think I played it maybe once. Uh, and I can't even tell you where I played it. I'm pretty sure it was at a landmark uh, cinema's theater. I think that's where I remember playing it, you know, quite a while ago. And I do remember it kind of being more of like a modern take of Time Crisis. Again, I don't know if that's like the exact, you know, comparison. Uh, I'm kind of going off of like a casual you know, memory of playing that game, but um, it does seem like it was a little bit more kind of realistic compared to, you know, the Time Crisis game. So I do feel like this is a, a nice step forward as far as like a good gun game to do. And I do feel like um, it's something that definitely could potentially happen in 2024. It, it just seems like that next step. And uh, I think a lot of people will be pretty happy with that title. So the next cabinet that we're going to talk about is 720. Now, I don't have a lot of experience with this game. The only thing I know about it is it's got a huge boombox on the top of the cabinet. 
So that's pretty iconic, and I know it has something to do with skateboarding. But I've never actually played the game. I watched a few clips of it on YouTube, and it does look like a fun game. But I gotta be honest with you guys, I think the potential of this cabinet happening is pretty slim. I think as far as like eye-catching, it's definitely an eye-catching cabinet. But I just don't think there's going to be enough interest with the retailers to bring this cabinet in. I also don't know what else they would pair with this game. So that's the only reason I think, you know, on paper, maybe Arcade 1UP will kind of shop it around and see what could happen. But I think the potential of this cabinet happening is slim to none, unfortunately. So now we're going to talk about the XL cabinets. Now, XL is something that a lot of people are excited for. It seems like the most sought after form factor for a lot of like the hardcore fans of Arcade 1UP. Um, though, you know, the three quarter scale deluxe cabinets are definitely amazing. And I feel like Arcade 1UP is doing that very, very well. Uh, the XL seem to be what most people are excited for. So um, as far as the four XLs that it seems like they might do in 2024, there are two that are kind of re-releases and then two newer titles. So um, there's definitely potential for uh, some more XLs because, again, anything can happen, anything could change. But uh, these are the four that, at least on paper, could potentially come out in 2024. So we'll start with the first one. So the first XL that could potentially be coming out from Arcade 1-Up in 2024 is going to be a re-release of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Now, I think this is very smart of them to do because of the fact that Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is a very popular title. And since the XLs do seem to be more for like the hardcore fans, I do feel like they would really like just buy this cabinet up very, very quickly. Because Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is kind of like a fighting cabinet that is more for the hardcores. Um, I'm not saying that there's not casual people that would buy this as well because it's a Marvel cabinet. And Marvel appeals to so many people. But again, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, it is kind of that hardcore game. And again, putting it in like an XL form factor that is a little bit more for the hardcores. It just works, right? And I feel like this would be a refreshing re-release. Because obviously when the three-quarter scale version came out, it was a bumpy road. Because of the fact that they didn't have the online all figured out. I know there's still some problems here and there with that. Uh, but for the most part, you know, it's working a lot better than it did when it came out as a three-quarter scale. So Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and an XL, I do think the potential is very high for that one to come out next year. So the next XL that we're going to talk about that is also a re-release is going to have people going nuts in a good way. And that is the Atari Star Wars cabinet. Now, if there's any cabinet that should definitely be in an XL form factor... It's this cabinet. It's so iconic. It has an amazing look. You know, very iconic. The shape, the yoke. Um, I feel like it's the best cabinet that Arcade 1UP has come out with. You know, that original three-quarter scale was amazing. They obviously re-released the three-quarter scale again and kind of changed some things aesthetically. But there wasn't much they had to do, right? The, the emulation is perfect. The yoke works well. Again, the cabinet itself looks beautiful. Obviously, the re-release, they made it look more authentic. So to see this in an XL form factor where it's basically going to look like the real thing, take my money. Take my money. This is going to be a great re-release if they do make it happen. And I think the potential is sky high. So the next XL cabinet that could potentially come out in 2024 that would be a new title for Arcade 1UP is the Big Red Neo Geo SNK cabinet. Now, I think the potential of this is actually pretty slim, and for obvious reasons. We've already seen a Neo Geo done, and it had 50 games on it. So obviously, if Arcade 1UP were to do this cabinet, it would not have 50 games. It would have like maybe four games, maybe the most 14. That's the most we've seen Arcade 1UP put on a cabinet. So I think this one's pretty slim, uh, obviously in the XL form factor, we haven't seen the big red done yet. So I guess that would be something different, but I just can't see people really going crazy for this cabinet when they know there's a three quarter scale version that has more games and looks pretty authentic to the original cabinet. So I think this one's pretty slim, but 
you never know what can happen. Now, the last XL that we're going to talk about is something that actually has me pretty excited. Uh, not because I necessarily want to buy it. I just want to see how they're going to make this one happen. And that is off-road. Now, this is a cabinet that I've actually seen quite a bit in my town. Uh, there's two pizza places in my city that have off-roads in the pizzeria. Uh, it's just a great looking cabinet, very fun to play. Uh, the mechanics of you know driving is, is something that you kind of have to play a couple times to kind of get because it's just a different style of driving game. You're not looking you know from the back of the vehicle kind of driving forward. You're driving sideways, you're driving up hills and down hills and it's, it's something unique and something different. And also it's a three player cabinet. It's got three wheels. So, you know, this is something that I would just love to see Arcade One Up try to make happen. Um, and it would be something that I think would, would sell quite well if they made like a limited amount of units. I don't think this is something that's going to necessarily be for the masses. I think this is something that's for a specific hardcore crowd that's really, you know, a fan of classic arcades. And, um, you know, if they make it in the XL form factor, which I think is kind of the only way they can make this work, I don't think it would work as a three-quarter scale because of the fact that, you know, just with the three wheels, it would be too tight. Uh, XL would definitely be the way to go, but um, I think it would be a beautiful looking cabinet. I think it would be a fun cabinet. Again, I wouldn't buy it. I'm a little more of a fan of like more modern driving uh, games. But I can't deny that this game's fun. You know, I've definitely played it uh, while waiting for my pizza to get done. So um, it's definitely a fun game. And I definitely uh, am interested in seeing Arcade One Up make this one happen. The chances, I think, are actually pretty high for this one. So the next two titles that we're going to talk about are a little bit of a more unique form factor when it comes to what Arcade One Up normally does. Now we're seeing them kind of do, you know, some different kind of titles and different kind of form factors, uh, you know, specifically the Wheel of Fortune uh, Casino Cade. So uh, for them to kind of do these next two titles, I feel like, um, you know, they're, they're trying to kind of like broaden their horizons. So uh, we're gonna talk about the first one right now. And the first one is Pac-Man Royale. Now, I've played Pac-Man Royale. Uh, there's one at my local Cineplex Odeon, and it's a blast to play, uh, but I've only played it with someone else. I don't know how much replay value there is to play it by yourself, I, because for me, it's more of like a multiplayer game, uh, though I'm sure you can play it by yourself, but um, it's definitely uh, a cabinet that I feel would be more for like entertaining guests and, and playing with like family and friends. Uh, but there's no denying that, you know, it's fun and Pac-Man is money. You know, Arcade One Up feels very comfortable doing anything Pac-Man. So I do think the potential of this happening is quite high. Now, the way they would probably do it, because it is kind of a tabletop, it's probably going to be in a head-to-head -head, um, form factor, which also is known as a cocktail table. Or they're probably going to do it maybe a little bit like the pub table. I think the pub table um, form factor would make more sense for this. Uh, and I think it's going to be something that would also kind of involve, you know, the pole with the, you know, the sign at the top, because I think that's very unique to the Pac-Man Royale uh, game and form factor. So I feel like they would have to add that if they just did it, you know, as like a cocktail table or, you know, the pub table, but didn't have that marquee on the pole. I think it would kind of take away from uh, you know the look of that cabinet because what makes that cabinet kind of stand out, at least to me when I was you know at my Cineplex Odeon and I seen that game, it's that marquee that's on that pole that kind of catches your attention. So I feel like they would have to put that on whatever form factor they put this in, you know whether it's the head to head or the pub table, and uh, I do feel like it's going to sell quite well. I myself might be a little interested in that as I'm a huge Pac-Man fan. So the last thing we're going to talk about is something that a lot of people have kind of been, you know, speculating on. And it's because of the fact that they saw a box that was behind Cyrus when he was doing one of his live streams. And uh, people kind of saw, you know, the, the look of the, uh, the letters on the box. And they think that Arcade 1UP is going to be making a virtual claw machine. 
and the title is going to be Treasures Cove. Now, I've seen a Treasures Cove. Um, there's a Playtrium that I take my son to, and they have a Treasures Cove there. And, you know, it's interesting. It's definitely more of like a kid's game. I don't see any adults really, like, getting excited over this. But if you have a family and you're looking for something that, you know, your kid could play, uh, I could see potential in this being something you might want to buy. Um, I think Arcade 1UP will probably make this happen because I feel like they know people want a claw machine, but I feel like this is how they feel they can kind of bring that to us in a virtual way. Uh, the only thing that might make this interesting, I think, for like adults to kind of maybe want to buy it as well, is if they have like other games on here. If it's just the Treasures Cove game, Again, that's just a kid's game, and it's probably not going to be something that's going to get a lot of people excited. But if there's other games in there that are maybe a little more adult, um, I feel like there could be potential of this being something that people might get excited for and want to buy. But I do think the potential is fairly high for this to come out, mainly because we did see the box. I know that doesn't necessarily mean it's a for sure thing, because they have done, you know, like demo models and stuff like that to try to sell to like retailers uh but at the same time i feel like there is a need for some form of claw machine i don't know if this is the right version of claw machine but but we'll see what happens and we'll see if it actually comes out so thanks again for checking out the video i hope you guys enjoyed this look at these leaks that could potentially be coming out in 2024 and kind of my opinions on each of these titles and what I believe are the chances of these titles actually coming out. Again, a lot could change within, you know, the next six months to a year. Uh, but I do think there are definitely some that are very high as far as like Arcade one priority to make happen. And I think the means are there to actually make them happen. Where some of the other ones, I think it's a little bit of a pipe dream. Obviously, it starts with an idea and then you just talk to who you need to talk to and maybe it could happen but some of them i feel like they might hit a little bit of a roadblock so we'll see what happens but either way it's exciting to see what could come down the pipe for 2024 and i'm looking forward to see uh which of these will actually happen uh there's definitely a few that i would probably be interested in now i know you guys thought this video was done but i'm actually going to talk about two more things really really quick probably within a minute and a half. I did want to touch on the Miss Pac-Man Deluxe Cabinet and the Pac-Man XL because that was originally what I was going to talk about in this video. So I just want to kind of give my piece on those two uh, cabinets. Now the Miss Pac-Man Deluxe, um, I was excited to see Miss Pac-Man come back. You know, we, we originally saw it and then it was taken away and now it's back. But I'm not going to lie. I am not happy with the custom black Miss Pac-Man. I wanted that classic blue, and with that game list that's on that cabinet, I probably would have bought it if it was the classic blue. I do not like when Arcade 1UP customizes these cabinets and makes them look different than the original cabinet. That's just me. I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be happy with that Miss Pac-Man. I'm not saying it looks bad. The black and pink definitely pop, but it's just not my style. So unfortunately, I was disappointed to see this cabinet come back, but not come back with the blue. So that's kind of my opinion on that cabinet. I still think it's going to sell well. It's got a great game list, but we need that classic blue Miss Pac-Man at some point. And then the Pac-Man XL, probably the best XL they've ever done. This thing looks amazing. I am not someone that's personally interested in the XLs. I actually like the three-quarter scale. I just find it easier to move, and it's a little bit better for my home, you know, not as big. But this one is one that's tempted me a lot when I've looked at, you know, the pictures and the videos. Uh, it's amazing. It's the perfect Pac-Man cabinet. It's got an amazing game list. Obviously, it's got the Wi-Fi, so that's like an extra bonus because you got, you know, your leaderboards. The cabinet basically looks like the real McCoy. It's pretty much as close to being an authentic Pac-Man cabinet as you can get. You know, obviously, the artwork on the side is a little small. I get that. And there's a little Arcade 1UP logo on the front kick plate. But other than that, it pretty much looks like a real Pac-Man. So uh, I definitely think Arcade 1UP did an amazing job with this. And it's obviously selling well already. And I think they're going to sell 
out like hotcakes. I mean, Costco, people are going to walk by. They're going to see this thing. They're going to eat it up. Um, I look forward to seeing this come out at other retailers because I think there are a lot of people out there that are interested in this cabinet that maybe don't have a Costco card or even here in Canada, um, it's not coming to our Costco. So, you know, it'll be nice if it shows up at like a different retailer here in Canada, like the brick. Uh, it's definitely going to be one of their highest sellers. And I got to commend Arcade One Up on this amazing XL. So now this video is officially done. I just wanted to touch on those two cabinets. Thanks so much for watching. Have a terrific day. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Mm -hmm.